Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to share a few tips and tricks for those of you beginning in your LEGO Fortnite experience. First of all, farm, farm, farm. Especially beginning. You are going to need so many resources, it is ridiculous. It seems like you never have enough granite, wood, marble, or whatever the resource might be. Keep farming, farming, farming. It's good to just designate some time to do this. So then you can uh, feel free to go on other adventures and not have to worry about your resources constantly. The next is the village hub. Upgrade this as soon as freaking possible because your residents can do tasks for you. And the higher level it is, the more residents you can hold. So they can go do the gathering for you, which is highly recommended. And I really enjoy that aspect of it. Okay, moving on to the next one uh, are some movement things is uh, you can roll forward. And that is when you're running forward and you push control. Um, and if you are just standing there and you push control by itself without any sort of movement, it'll jump backwards. The next is food buffs. Pay attention to the different foods because they give you different food buffs and environmental things. Added heat, frost resistance, things like that. Extra, extra hearts. Uh, now we're taking a look into the caves. Mine the resources that you can and go to these things early on as soon as you can um, and I recommend taking several tool sets of tools with you because you will go through them very quickly um, the next is bows bows in this game are actually kind of OP in my opinion um, I am constantly using a bow to cheese so many different animals and mobs in this game. Uh, as you can see, I just took on this weird skelly goblin creature and uh, now I'm taking on one of these little stupid little roller dudes. Like a wannabe roly poly crab thing. But this is an easy way to cheese them. But stay tuned, because at the end I have a bonus tip on the easiest way to get shells from these things and then also to kill the brutes. So stay tuned for that one. Um, also, as you can see, I place campfires all over the place. That way it lights things up. I can see what I'm doing and I can know where I've already been in the cave. So as we are exiting the cave, this is the animation for one of um, the caves. They do have several different animations depending on the biome you are in. Um, again, the bow is so good at taking things out, whether it be for food or mob-wise. Uh, here I opt in when it was night so I could show you taking on some other night mobs. Uh, skeletons, these ones have like hardly any health. They're really easy and you can shoot them in the head and basically one tap them um in this biome and others they're more tanky um but yeah as you can see here i didn't get a good shot and he's gonna require a second but that's no problem um uh, another thing that i am about to show you is using mobs to fight each other so that you don't have to do as much work. Like, make it easy on yourself. Lure mobs over to each other, let them battle it out, and then you can just wait and third party them. And then steal their loot. And of course, uh, you got an emote on them too. So as you can see here, I was uh, doing it with the skeletons and the wolves. It was quite easy. Um, and that movement I showed you, the rolling around and those back jumps, is uh, really good at evading different attacks. This next one deals with using mobs to farm 
resources for you. Ones that are really good at this are, of course, the rollers, but the best ones by far, in my opinion, are the brutes. These things are crazy at destroying the environment around them. Uh, it, they are more nerve-wracking because uh, early on, you will literally get like one tapped by these things, by them. But if you can use the rollers and the brutes to do your farming for you. Uh, he'll be doing a little victory dance here. And yeah, hope you guys have fun. Take care now. Hello everyone, I want to show you guys a quick easy way that you guys can cheese these big lizard men. The big brutes. Get to a body of water. And then you're going to aggro him. And get him to... Basically run after you. Come get me. Go into the water. And he dies. He dies. Um, this trick also works on the rollers. So in case you are in need of those shells, you can cheese them in this very same way. Good luck. Blah. Gotcha.